She is a singer-songwriter that sang her way into our hearts for years in the hit group Fifth Harmony. Now she is re-entering the spotlight with brand new music highlighting her killer vocals and candid lyrics. So without further ado, please welcome to Fresh Out Live, Dinah Jane! Yeah! Here we are. How are you? You good? You good? You good? How are you? Nice to see you. Donna Jane, everybody. This is really, I mean, probably always a great time to talk to you, Dinah, but this is a really exciting time because it is the summer of Dinah Jane. You've been dropping music now. <laughs> You're back in the game. It's so exciting. What has this process the past couple months been like for you, just dropping music? It's been chaos. I mean, I stopped for like three years. So coming back into it, I'm like, wow, you did so much work before. Like getting back into the hustle and bustle of things. I have to like pat myself in the back and remember like this is how the hustle was, yeah. you know? So it feels good and it's exciting. <laughs> It's so interesting to hear you, you know, be that honest about the process because we, we think of that a lot with like athletes, right? Like they go away from the game a little bit, but it works the same with artists like yourself where yeah. it takes that minute to readjust. But of course you have readjusted and the music sounds so great. I wanted to talk about uh, Road Less Traveled. Oh, my Amazing baby. Amazing song. Thank you. Yes. Oh. You can see the, the cover art on your screen right there. Um, I want to know everything about this song. Let's start with what does it mean? What does it mean to you? Uh, road less traveled. It's honestly about taking risks. Um, it first started off as obviously as a love song, but I think now in this new age of like coming back into music, I feel like I'm taking a risk on you know representing my culture and putting it to the forefront. Um, I feel like coming from a massive girl group, people have this image of you and they want you to stay in that pop lane and just do obviously the industry style. But for me going backwards, I wanted to set a foundation. So I was like, it's only right to go backwards and pour back into me and where I come from. Yeah. And that to me is the road I'd rather take rather than the most traveled. Yeah. So it's That's really awesome. <laughs> now, uh, at the risk of a, of a bad pun, obviously the road does not end here. We have an exciting project to look forward to. That was a good to. one. Right? Hey. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm nice. here all week. Um, <laughs> but at the end of this month, uh, we're going to get Forever Summer, the project. Yes. So talk to me about maybe the meaning behind Forever Summer and what went into that. Um, Forever Summer, it's like an island R&B-esque type of vibe. And I'm, it's like storytelling. So I'm talking about sometimes I may be toxic with this lover of mine, or I may be so in love and I'm just like, wow, I want him all the time with me. I'm a cancer, so I'm a lover girl, like all the way. <laughs> I love love. And um, it's just taking you on a journey of like my love experience and taking you on a journey of the sound, especially it goes like in the island route. So island reggae. Definitely. Yeah. That's really awesome. Fun, exciting. And I have to Fresh. imagine just personally, aside from being an artist, just this whole process you've gone through has to be so empowering, right? Yeah. To just get back to those roots and it must feel so good. It feels amazing. I mean, to even perform records to my people. Um, I've been attending a lot of festivals lately, so it's been really cool to like see them get excited and in their eyes, it's like, oh my gosh, Dinah Jane, Dinah Jane, you know? Um, I do things such as this TRL and to be one of the first people in my culture to do and reach such heights, it, it's very um, gratifying. So, Definitely. very rewarding. Now, you also uh, worked with some amazing people on the record and getting back to Road Less Traveled, you worked with Sam Fisher. Yes. Who is so talented. We love Sam here at oh, MTV. He, did background yeah, vocals, I love of course. Sam. What was it like working with Sam? It was amazing. He made the process so easy. He wrote the song in like two hours. So, wow. I just told him what I was going through. I was like, I love this guy. And, da -da -da -da. and he was like, oh, let's do it. This is what I hear. Um, he made me feel like very like at home. Like I was just talking to like a homegirl or one of my best and he just made it so easy to convey what the song gives. Yeah. Well, would you uh, entertain taking this on the road, you know, and doing shows around the album at all? Oh, yes, most definitely. That's in the process. I, right now, I have an acoustic um, tour that's happening right now. I just feel like being a singer, that's how I started. So I want to go back and remember who I was. I was a vocalist before I even started any of this. And being in a girl group, you know, there's like these little one, two, threes, and then you gotta sing, <laughs> hot tap. And then now I'm just like, girl, let's go backwards and go back to songs that I used to sing, such as like, I'd rather go blind, Etta James, um, some Beyonce covers, Mariah Carey, Hero, like Leona Lewis. Like I looked up to so many of these artists that now I'm like, let's go back to who I was and take that road yeah. for memory lane yeah. and um, just, yeah, pour back into me. And just a beautiful reminder of what made you first fall in love with this yeah. dream that you're now living, yep. you know, of, of working in music and being a, an amazing Amen. artist. 
it's exciting all over again. I yeah. mean, to completely stop, it was it's so refreshing to just jump back in and be like, whoa, you used to do this, you know? And now I'm like grateful for everything, like all the L's I take and all the good, like all the rewarding parts about it. It's all about the process. You have to take it all in and just be grateful for everything because it only makes you stronger. Yeah. And it um, gives you a backbone. Yeah. Amen. For your big back. I think you might have a budding career as a motivational speaker, Donna. You're ready. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Just don't take the puns. Okay. That's the only thing you I can have. keep those. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Donna Jane. Thanks for stopping by. And for you at home, be sure to stream Forever Summer. It is out August 27th. Punch that in your reminders app right now.